Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and we've got a busy month ahead of us. We've got the corn to harvest, so that shouldn't take too long. We've got the cotton to do. But also, to start off with, as always, is selling a bunch of produce, so flour, sunflower oil, mushrooms, flowers, planks, furniture, bread, and canola oil. So you know what? I'm just going to sell all those now. There we go. Get some decent money out of this. There we go. Get up just over 100 grand for that. 130 grand to be exact. So perhaps not just over 100 grand, but. Anywho, it's time for us to hop into the combine with our brand new 18 meter cord header. So let's go and have a look. Oh, there's more flowers spawning. Yeah, I've got about like 19,000 years or so. But you know what? Let's just grab those now. Because we can do just send those now out of the way. May have more bread spawning, not sure. And also, yeah, well, the grass cut as well. Yep, one more bread in there to move, so let's quickly get this loaded up. There we go. So, yeah, we've got another three pounds to spawn. So about being these like pallets is a are very easy to maneuver around. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. more produce and I'm realizing our silo or not our silo in our storage sheds. The only thing that's left in there is clothes, chocolate, cakes, but mostly honey and eggs. Eggs we're gonna sell in November. But even though the prices for eggs at the moment are okay at thirty two hundred at the market store. They can still go up even more. Yeah, that's the downside of bingo. Like three, four high on some of these, it does obviously upset the balance. And of course, a perfect way to distribute is quite more lenient towards the right hand side of the axle, so of course, it's going to be a bit wibbly wobbly jelly fighting all that. Well, what's this? Perhaps another 100 grand or so? Uh, sweet. I'll, as I said as many times before, this will go into the BGA project that we're going to be doing soon. No, come on, there we go. We'll just get all that in. Yeah, pretty much, yeah, another 100 grand. Last one. 105 grand, so that is 236-ish we've earned. But before we do any harvesting and smash I'd love to get smashing onto it, we need to do some important stuff around the farm. And that 
is taking care of our animals because they are starving. There's two more do we have in here? Ooh, 150,000 a year, so you know what? We'll grab that. We'll do two trips with these. And I'll fill up because we'll get these fed because we have the car animals. Cows, yep, yeah, I ran out very quickly. Chickens, uh, need some green. Our sheep, they're right for now, about halfway. Make it some more hay in that by in the day, but. Actually, how's our cows doing for milk and all that? Milk, 10,000 a year. Surrey, 33,000 a year. Actually, we're not getting new manure from this, so. That was pretty much a waste, but. It goes with it aesthetically, it goes with the um, brick and mortar work and that, so... You know what? I'm not too worried about that. And I just love... I just think... I love equipment like this where it just slides out. It makes life so much easier. Because if we go with like self-propelled route, like animal mixed wagons and all that, or even the pulled ones, Okay, I got the modded Solid King version here, which does do 45,000 years. Obviously, wish we actually had this on by spring, perhaps. But then again, on by springs, that may be a bit too big. But that's pretty much as big as you go, unless you go with like, the unrealistic route with the AT Studio Feed Mix Wagon. That goes on to the back of the TLXs. But yeah, as the series goes on, we will dip and dab in some unrealistic equipment, but I'm going to go all the way in and out. I think for me, personally, I'll do off some unrealistic equipment, but nothing stupid. Things like this, like this Sonic King here, really that should be a 40,000 capacity, not like a half a million or whatever it is, or 200,000 capacity. All the tanks where it hold multiple liquids in that same silo. Yep, it's handy to have one. If I want to go a bit more semi realistic, I get a bunch of those in, they're only like five grand in that. But that's the thing, uh, stuff, stuff like that I would consider when we do court farms and American Falls. American Falls, as of recording this on Saturday, no, Sun, no, not Sunday, Monday. Or Monday going into Tuesday, so this may be out towards the end of the week because I'm going away this weekend at my own bike rally at my own club and that. So, but as I was saying, oh, did I leave too early? I oh, know, fair enough. What was I saying? But yeah, with American Falls, obviously, we had the American Hustle Tree Pack drop today. Awesome mods. May include it here. Yeah, 250 grand for 200 cows. Which is about the same for that, which is 400 cows, but. but yeah, definitely I'll use that in the future at some point. But yeah, American Falls is with Giants Way to be tested. But with Giants being away at PAX West, I think it is West they're doing. And Games calling that. They are quite busy in that, so I shall this room here. We'll grab 30,000 years. So I should just grab a full tray of hay. But yeah, so currently the wait waiting this for testing is 11 work days, so two weeks. So yeah, we may see American Falls within the next two to three weeks at most. And probably Court Farms, which obviously optimistic of it being out within six weeks, six to eight weeks of it being released on PC. That ain't gonna happen. Probably as of now when this comes out now. Maybe I've had to guess another month to month and a half perhaps. I don't think it depends on what Oxy needs to do for the console version. Obviously with the update that's come out 
he's using that as a baseline for the console version of Court Farms Park or County Park, Country Park. I should know this because this is down the road from me, but anyway, so but then again, if it's an extra couple of weeks, you know what, so what, I'll be happy with that. I will also risk it off doing this series straight away when that map drops. Maybe even on the same day, episode 1 will come out. Unless there's any like major bugs in that I, I find, or the community finds in that when it comes out. Or I may halt it when I know it's going to be a say, news. A new update that requires a new game save, but. Unless that happens. Which may do, may not. I won't do it straight away, but that's the thing. Let's wait and see. See what happens, but anyways, I'll grab the chicken feed, get those fed, and then we'll actually get on to the main part of the episode of which is getting all this harvesting done. Or at least as much of it done as possible. Well, that was a slightly expensive mistake I just learned there. I've got to save the party because now I've got no chicken feed left and they won't take oats. So, boy, yeah, we'll have to buy animal feed. I'll get the cheap packs, but you know what? If we need anything, we'll get it from the shop and that directly. So, yeesh. Hopefully, the chickens will make a lot of money for us because. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we can plant wheat or barley, but it has to be this month. We shall now keep the wheat in that. And that's what we can do is in 49 and that one over there, our other small little field. Unless we do wheat in there, then we could do a sorghum. That's the thing. I didn't think we was going to be having issues with our chicken feed. And I've completely gone the wrong way. And that's something, well, we've got to keep an eye on because I do have plans for these chickens. And no, it's not deep fry them and send them to Kentucky with these chickens, but do something else, slight like tweak to things. How much feed? Oh boy, this is going to be very expensive for us. I should have known, I should have known, but... Especially, we're going to need that much money from the flower, so... Well, you're going to get tons of money from the flower, but... That wheat could have been made to be used on the chickens to get more eggs than that. Oh well. But now... To cheer myself up. Now let's go and focus on the harvesting, shall we? Also, you could have made slightly shot like this. And look at all that corn. Literally, you cannot see anything. And looks like we're going to need to empty this, so we'll get that converted back over to a tipper. Body because yeah, already at 10% just for this little stretch over here. Be careful, crow, don't go into our combine. Yeah, we could have done this like 10 meters with a small header, but I want to change things up a bit, so that's why we're doing it this way. There we go. That's a fifth already, so it's gonna be a pretty busy time ahead of us here. And it does have a slight struggle with the power. Is that because it's hitting the edge of the map and that again? We are just struggling. To I'm seeing we're into the fields now. I 
we're struggling for power. Oh boy, is it good? No, 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 we're up to speed now. I see there's a map it. boundary collision issue. If it is, we won't. We'll make sure we won't see that to the edge of the field. <laughs> and then we're still doing it again. Three, five miles an hour. It's just jumping all over the place. Yeah, just look at that. Like, it's just a rain of corn. That does mean we're going to have to waste some corn stalks there and everything you'll be able to pick up. There we go, six miles an hour, baby. Just using the edge of the header there as a guideline. Okay, we're veering to the left a little bit. Straighten this up. Happy days. Now that's us at 50% capacity already. Yeah, I think the test for this would be once we come back up again. Is it still the map that's causing the issues? Like you're hitting the edge of the map as well. Well, that's thing is here. The actual physical edge for us is here, but for the equipment, it's like here, so. Who knows? It's weird. Especially that's just wasted land that is pretty much right using, but. Oh well. Now. Let's see how it handles this. Helps if you lower it, first of all. No issues. Going up a little slope. Could be just a map thing, in all honesty. But anyway, so... We will get on this. Get yes, started, it didn't take too long. And then we'll go for an arrow thing. and all of the cotton's been harvested. Did that all in one go, so we've got nearly 110,000 litres of corn. 
obviously if we wouldn't sell this we'll probably get about 80 grand or so at peak price but I'm going to save these for a production perhaps later on down the road or something like that so yeah what's that's emptying let's hop into the fence but yeah we've got six cotton bells here so I'm thinking if we put two in the farm supply production and the other four in the clothing factory. Obviously, I wish we had more cotton in that. Perhaps we could do perhaps more cotton fields, perhaps or something to help with the clothing production. But yeah, we'll have a think about that. But yeah, so these will hold two bells at a time, I think. Yeah, I think it's two bells at a time. Okay, that's one. But yeah, what I'm also gotta do now is start Do we do we do the mowing now? Or do we prep the fields? Because it is October. And this is the last time we can plant crops this year. To have a reminder on the crop calendar. Yeah, if you want to do wheat and that, we've got to do it today, so... I'm thinking these two fields here will be wheat and barley, or just wheat. I think we'll do wheat and barley, just have that bit of variety in that. And then the mega field. Ooh. Now, some say we can split that field up. Potentially. Oh, the front loader's in the way. Will that interfere? I think if we do other crops, what would we do? We do soybeans in the spring? Or perhaps something like different like sugar cane obviously at some point I do want to get into grapes and olives but that requires pretty much a new plot of land I think okay, he's moving the front loader there we go but yeah because grapes and olives are very expensive I mean, more so grapes we'll go with because we've got mods and that for grape production. So I do want to dim and dab in that it's been a while since I've touched grapes and that. I think that's something I've touched in was Adel Chauvin, and that was an alright series that was. Obviously, it was just flawed with some bugs and that. Hence why I sort of end up abandoning that series. It was just so buggy in that in the end. Couldn't get the things I want done out of it from what I remember. But yeah, who knows? Options there for us. A pod cheese thing going off there. But yeah, that's fill up with silage, so we can top up the cow's TMR production. But I think in, do we just go let's see, we could you go all out on cotton in that, but how big are these bells? 7,000 litres. If we have a look here for cotton. Really? Okay, these bells will only last for about 3 4 months, so. Let's do a mega cotton harvest in that. Yeah, I think we'll go with. Cotton on the mega field, that's going to take bloody ages to harvest. Wheat and barley on these two fields. Unless we do, let's say, wheat, barley here, and then here could be sunflower. I should know. Why don't we do sunflower once that's. I should do it properly this time. Sunflower, canola. And then just do wheat, I think, on these, not wheat and barley. Because sunflower. 
and that. So sunflower plant in March. Canoe Oh, we've missed a canoe window though. Unless we do wheat and then canoe Yeah, we can do that. So we do three wheat fields. I know sunflower. That's not ready to harvest now, ain't it? Or is it? I haven't checked. Ah, uh, yeah, sunflower's gonna be ready to harvest tomorrow. <clears throat> we do want that sunflower oil, so. Mm. Unless we do sunflower. And just leave that, and then we do canoe in that field, so yeah. We'll do canoe in that field. Sunflower in this field over here. And then, yep, wheat. But what about this field here? Do we do wheat as well? Could do. Yeah, that's our three wheat fields, heck it. So wheat, wheat, sunflower, and canola. And this is our mega silage field here, or mega grass field, so... I think eventually we'll divide this up, so let's say... Cut this off here. That will be just all grass. Or perhaps this could be grass down here. And this could be another crop of some variety. But, yeah, there's a few options there for us. But also, we've got the money, we've got the plot of land. And we did say we was going to put the BJ in over here as well, didn't we? Unless we do the BJ over here, because we do have 37. Let's have a look here a sec. Unless we do the BJ over here, but yeah, it's quite separate from everything else. We'll need another plot down because that cows they take up quite a bit of space. If we go down here, we'll take sort of extend this industrial complex though, so. If anything, if we just extend it, it will have to be like here and that. Oh, this is. As if we go down that route there, but do you want to build our own BGA? Very expensive though. Can have our own fermenter. Actually, let's look at the prices a sec, so. Do we want a buy grinder? All that will do is allow us to process sugar beets. We can cut out the sugar beet ourselves, so... Oh no, we get the big one with the buy grinder. So say we get that, that's going to be 170 grand. And a half the fermenter. That's 255. So that's 455, 425. Four fifty five six hundred grams if we go with the post fermenter. Yeah, we're gonna need more money actually. If we wanna get everything in, we're gonna need a lot more. Actually we have methane storage as well. Ah, actually. Why don't we put something like that here, now? Methane storage over there. Because we could do that, just for... Because if we set that to distribute, that would be split between that and this. Ah, no, we need raw methane, though. Let's 
just get a bit ahead of time for a sec, because I want to see what's the storage like. Did A and Jim do a good job, or... Ah, no. It won't go into outgoing products, so... Okay, well, that's one part of our BG plan down. And didn't have interactive zoom markers on. Oh, yeah, that would need to be turned around. Alright, you know what? Scrap that. That's 40 grand we lost there on that mistake. So, next time, let's not do anything rash like that. But, yeah, let me just go quickly grab the, these last two bells. And then we can have a further discussion on this. There we go, that is that in. So yeah, with the whole money in that. Do we have anything in the pipeline? In storage, we do have... Oh, we've got eggs now. Because we've got 30 pallets of eggs at the moment. Three clothes there, right? Ten clothes, because yep. Yeah, get okay money out of it but if you have a look here so go down close rock bond prices 11 grand may go up to 13 14 grand in February might as well wait till April for that cakes they peak in this let me October actually well they're almost at peak now so we could sell some cakes now Sure, we'll do that. So cakes. What else do we have? Honey, chocolate. Honey, I know that peaks in March, so I am tempted just to wait a little bit longer. Unless we do it now, so to sell every container. Bearing in mind, we we'll only get about 28 grand at the moment. Wait a little bit longer. Actually, we're selling sugar, selling that peak price, so that's why we're selling sugar. Chocolate, on the other hand. Best time to sell that is, well, not now, it's like it's rock bottom price. So around. January time, or you can wait till November. If you wait till November, price is significantly better. So, got a few options in that. But yeah, let's go and quickly grab these cakes and sell them. But yeah, I think what we've got to do now is well, focus on the BGA in the coming episodes. Like, the amount of productions we've got going on at the moment, that's certainly advantageous for us at the moment. Of able to just to simply do what we need to do. So yeah, we'll get about well, eighty grand for these. So yeah, the downside of the cakes now we're ain't making too many at the moment because we're struggling with strawberries. Unless we really start thinking about umping up our strawberry production. Because this grass here, that's going to be used as hay. So we can't redo any silage until February when it's at its peak. Yeah, a few options there. We need about. If I say we get close to a million, that's when we can properly look at. Actually, what well, may just leave this field here blank. I will just do some flower on this field over here, I think. Yeah, I think we'll do that then. When we do the canola next year, we can extend the field down or something like that. Roughly on the lines of that. At the moment, this is all rough plans, but yeah, if we leave that second field there blank. Yeah, we'll sell these. About 18 grand, I said. Oh, not even that. 
slightly off. But yeah, it's still things like that. Get a little bit of money here and there. Things like the methane will get about 53 grand that at every time. Actually, is there a sensation for methane? Sell points, I know. Sell every container and all that. We have a look here. Scrolls across. Okay, Tony, yeah, yeah, we all knew that. Listen, there's nothing specifically. On methane. Nursery, cover drain, no. Send it oil. No, donuts. Chicken cube large, no. Unless we invest in a slurry yard. Sure, sure, heck, why not? Because we've got manure and slurry. Well, we've got slurry, not manure, but. And they command a decent price, so. Heck it, why not? So. Because we have a look here. Go okay, back up. And that's further down. Yes, sorry, so... Yeah, 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 but compared to everything else, it's about ten times the amount. Aussie Farm Shop does offer a decent price, but even then, that's still like five times better. And with the amount of server we're getting, we can make decent money out of that. Obviously, the price has got readjusting that over the 12 months, but yeah, so there's a few options for us, a few things to think about. I think what we've got to do now is just focus on getting these fields turned over anyway, so yeah, what I do is go back up to times two. I think the mowing we'll do tomorrow, that means then we'll get the next cut in April. Right for grass. Yep. You know what? That's fine. Even for cut now it would be till March. But yeah, so anyways. We'll get sun. And we'll use our little fast farm and trick perhaps. So this will mulch. As well as cultivate the fields. That's why I sit this. I'm going with a massive cultivator because there's plenty of options for that. There we go. 15, 16. Yeah, it will make light work of this. But one thing I do know is that the upper field there does need a lime applied, so before I do any planting of these of barley, actually we'll stick it to times one, because we need to plant in this episode, don't we? So, well not this episode, this month. But anyways, I'm waffling on now. I'll get you smashed out, I'll get you complete it. It helps if I keep in a straight line. I'll see you folks once we're done here.
And there we go, sometime later we are done. So yeah, a few things has happened depending on how long I've left the time that's recorded in in the editing. But yeah, so we gone and bought another Landol Motor Cultivator. Also we said goodbye to the fence. I thought we was doing an upgrade on that fence for ages, that was a second hand tractor. So I've gone and bought the John Deere. 9063 RT and for a 500 horsepower tractor it is an absolute bargain at what was it, 175 grand we paid for it or well, uh, plus all the extra details so I think it was about 270 once you include the bigger engine but yeah if we have a look down here yeah 9 x 3 t so yeah 250 I think it was like about 170 once we included yeah things like the green star in that GPS front weight tracks weights yeah about 270 so that is a very handy did try fast farm a bit but I think it was at the limit already especially going on some of the sloops and that with the drawbar but well the drawbar is managing fine so I'm guessing the drawbar is only really suitable for like fixed tractors like these because even the fence was struggling so I think you need a bit of a new P amount of horsepower perhaps it can be used down to a number of factors like for example we've got duties on here so that gives us extra traction could be that as well, but so yeah, all we got left to do now is work our finishing off that field over there, and for us to finish off here. And since we're doing this here, yeah, see, so going up this hill here, which is pretty, pretty much the steepest hill on our land. We're still doing 15 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour now. That's a downshift there, I think, and the automatic transition still managing it perfectly fine that does mean our money has gone down though so we need about 800 grand to a million for the biogas plant may have some ideas of how to generate this wealth of the sensory in the winter it's going to be one of those I'm also thinking about trees because we got a brand new forest over there by next to our farmhouse and we haven't even touched that yet but we will have to touch it in the next episode or two because our both our sawmills are starting to low on timber Aussie, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the previous episodes of where there's trees by the main sawmill we did come down because it was causing some issues for us with the gameplay Aesthetically, it looked nice, but functionally, yeah, it was just having issues for us. So, function over form, engineering over architecture, and all that. So, that's why we made that decision there. But, yeah, this shouldn't take us too long. Have the money now. Also, we could do just a massive little silage setting, turn off any excess silage in there, perhaps. Or when we harvest the field tomorrow, we'll mow the field, collect it as hay in there. Well, no grass, no, just grass, so it would be dry to make hay, of course. We don't need tether, we don't use tethers here. We use production chains to also make our processes here. Yeah, any like do a rough math now. We've got plenty of food for now. We don't need to do all the food in one go. Perhaps we can just do a mega silage. We've got enough food for now. And also I'm thinking of perhaps we just do yeah, I know we've got the fermenter now. But we 
Wheels, they just do a bunch of side spells, just has a one off. Got the also trailer ready for it, so. Why not? But, anyways, we're going to leave that on that note. I'll finish this off between now and next episode. We will resume in October because we need to do the alignment on the big field, well not the big field, little field by our farmyard, or by our farmhouse. And then we'll get the wheat in the ground. And then we'll move on to November and do the mowing. Yeah, the worker is just about to finish off there. So yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment below. If you want to share us, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you're in this day. But for now, this is me, Farmer, Evelyn Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.